this composter has been running about two and a half years. And the air bubbles aren't quite what they should be. It should be more of a rolling boil than that. So probably one of the two diaphragms has broken. This is how you change the diaphragm on the pump. Let's take the cap off. See the, the bubbles aren't quite a roll of oil. So you shut it off, pull the plug, and just wiggle this the pump off of that elbow connection and then bring it to the workbench. Bring the pump over to the bench and screw off this top cover. This has the air filter. This should be cleaned. It should probably be cleaned every six months or so. Turn the pump over. Four screws. They're eight millimeter but um, they're also um, they're also Phillips head. Once the four screws are out, flip it over, lift off the cap. All right, here are the two diaphragms that need to be replaced. Each one is attached with four Phillips screws. You just, this is a clamp, you just pull it together and move it down and you can, you can pull these little tubes off. Same thing here, pull that off. Pull the little air tubes off. Take these four screws out. Okay, that diaphragm looks good. And there is the broken diaphragm. So that's why the pump was kind of pumping because it was pumping with the good diaphragm and this one wasn't. So this is 930 seconds. A little nut. It's a lock nut. Take the nut off. The little washer, and then this pops off. And there's the broken diaphragm. All right, the new diaphragm kit. There's two in a kit. Diaphragm set for HKD60 slash 80. So this also works for the 80 liter as, as well as the 60. This is a this is a 60 liter per minute. So in the kit, two brand new full diaphragms. And then the kit also comes with two new washers and two new nuts. So even though one of the diaphragms is, is good, I always replace both. Um, just because we're in here, so we might as well make it 100%. So we put the new diaphragm on right here. Press that bolt through. New washer, new nut. This is just snugging it up. So when you put this cap on, 
set it in place. Start the four screws. Everything's snug. All right, and put the two back on and the clamp. There's one side complete. Now the other side, even though it's good, we will replace it so that this pump is 100%. It's important when you're putting this diaphragm together, there's a hole right there, there's a hole right there. Those line up. And then the tube's on this side, so the orientation is this way. So we put this on like this. And the new nut and the new washer. Started. And snug it up. And then this the cap goes on. back on and the clamp there we go two brand new diaphragms now set the cap back on flip it over put the four screws back in Again, get each one of them started before you tighten them up. All right, now this air filter, just clean with uh, soapy water and make sure it's really dry before you put it back in. Okay, I just clean that, super clean, just a little soapy water. Made sure it was super dry. Stick that back in there. And then let's get that. Screw the little nut back on. Oh no, this pump is as good as new. And it should last two to three years. Matalas recommend changing them out every year, but I found that they last two to three years on average. And I will put this back into the Aromatico. We just rebuilt the air pump. So we're putting it back on to the Aromatico. So you just line up that elbow to the outlet of the pump. Make sure the feet are in the little holder. And then we'll just put the top back on. Plug it back in. Let's see now. Now that's the kind of air movement we should be having. 